Ladies and gentlemen, Catastrophic Heroes! Yeah, hell yeah! Uh, yeah! <laughs> yes! Yeah. What's up? Gentlemen, what's up? How are we doing? Good, yeah, about you, Good. PG. I appreciate you guys joining. Uh, for those that may not know who you guys are, can we go around the room as far as introduction? And then on your far left, I'm that gentleman, yes, he's being slightly cut off from the shot. Um. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Could you guys kindly introduce yourselves, let us know whereabouts in the world you are, plug and promote anything you want. I gotta go first. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jared, I'm from Wausau. Wausau what? Wausau, Wisconsin. Yeah. That's a place. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, what else was I supposed to say? You're the bass he's, player he's, for... Like, no, oh, he's no, technically no, hold on. Oh, yeah, now you're a guitar player. I'm a guitar player. Um, cool. Yeah. So I'm Shay, and I'm the new bass player. And then I'm yeah. Brandon, and I'm the drummer. Nice to officially I meet you, Brandon. Cole. I see you in chat all the time. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> I'm Cole, and I attempt to sing. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Hell yeah. And you guys anyway. brought a plethora of hot sauce also, I see, in yes. front of you. Well, this is alcohol, so. <laughs> Excellent. 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 Hell yeah. Uh, we appreciate you guys joining. Uh, my co-host today is Austin, a.k.a. Ozzy Bear. Ozzy Bear, What's Catastrophic up, Heroes. So you guys are out in Wisconsin, is it safe to say? Are you Packers fans? Fuck no. Fuck and, yeah. I've, I don't watch football. A <laughs> little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Because I'm a Vikings fan, so it was, I'm going to be off to a rough, a rough start Skull. right away. Let's go, Bobby! Give me a hell yeah! <laughs> so, uh, so uh, Jared, you're, are you a Packer fan? They're, I mean, I watch them when they're on. <laughs> I know you're a Packers fan. Oh, yeah. And I'm, I'm a Bears fan, actually. Oh, man. So you guys have fight all the time. How did oh, how, how long have you guys been a band for? Since uh, around 2019, 2018-ish. It's it, like near the rear end of 2018, kind of. It's kind of complicated. So to kind of like touch on it, when the beginning of the whole aspect was i was working at a factory cole's uncle came up to me and he goes you play you play drum still yeah because he's a family friend and i was like yeah he goes my nephew was trying to start a band would you be willing to like try out whatever so and i played like on warp tour Lollapalooza, shit like that with other different bands <clears throat> and so i like said yeah i give him my phone number you know have him hit me up and uh yeah, he reached out, and he's like, hey, do you want to come over and try out? And I'm like, yeah. So then while I'm there, <clears throat> I was like, all right, so I don't want this to be a waste of time in garage band. So, like, I was essentially trying them out. So then it was originally me, Cole, and a different guitar player. And then down the line, we acquired Jared, who I played in, what, five different bands with? Yeah, in high school. We, yeah. Uh, we used to jam together a long time ago. <laughs> And then uh, shortly after that, we had Shay join the band. So, and then we had another vocalist. So essentially, we had a five-piece band, which then the vocalist left, still have Cole. And then um, during COVID, we just kind of reformed, reinvented our sound and everything. And then um, Shay actually left. Just he had his own stuff going on. We got a different guitarist, so it was me, Cole, Jared, and then our other guitarist, which unfortunately, um, Morgan was our old guitarist, and due to some medical conditions, he felt the need to step away. You know, it just wasn't healthy for... He had, like, a hand issue, so, like, he couldn't... Hands and hands. Well, yeah. You know? <laughs> so he couldn't... Um, it's like, I'm not going to be able to do, like, shows or tours anymore, so then, you know, we... Jared's like, well, hey, I'll play guitar again, like we did back in the day. So Jared plays guitar now, Shay plays bass, and then obviously the only standing original members. Hell yeah. Who did you tour Warp Tour with? Myself. I played with The Confession, which are based out of Orange County. Um, I was a session player, so like there was 
three or four different like bands I fell in for. So this is from 2006 to 2009. I got gotcha. you, for sure. But uh, there's a there's a good portion there where I don't remember what the heck I was doing. So <laughs> partying and, and jamming, I love it. It's, uh, it's work to it. What do you got? What do you guys say besides that? That's true. <laughs> Ozzy, I know you have some important questions for the band. Uh, go ahead and rattle them off. Before you do, though, real quick, fellas, what I do want to do some trivia, but it's going to take me a couple minutes to prep it, so I'm going to let him ask a couple questions. Uh, what movie or TV show have you seen the most where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped? For if you do, out comes the hot sauce. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm a Disney buff, so anything Disney, you can't, you can't mess with me, so... <laughs> I don't sure. watch movies. I don't have to have the attention span for movies. Ace Ventura when nature oh calls. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the second one, right? Okay. I'll go let's go with that one. We've never done trivia on that one. Okay, Ozzy, rattle off some questions and I'm gonna look up some trivia. Sick. So as an artist myself, I know we have motivators for why we wanna create, why we want to put our music, our message out to the world. Um, and you guys could answer this collectively or individually, but I'm curious, uh, what's been your motivator to make the music, to put it out there? For me, personally, I've grown up listening to, like, bands like Marilyn Manson and, uh, like, Nine Inch Nails, stuff like that. I'm a huge, uh, and pretty much the rest of us, Brandon especially, he's also a huge, most listened white fan. Ice Nine Kills. Ice Nine Kills, for sure. Oh, yeah. I think, I mean, like, if you look at our name, so... Let's let's touch on that real quick. So the way it is on the screen is absolutely incorrect. And the way that it's on YouTube is absolutely incorrect. So we uploaded our music to our distributor first time. There was an argument between us and another member. And he's like, well, if we're going to have it spelled H-E-R-O-S, then it needs to be an apostrophe. So then when we went to go type it into YouTube, it auto-corrected to ES. So, like, the proper spelling is catastrophic, and then heroes, H-E-R-O-S. No apostrophe, no E. It's literally... <laughs> oh. it the most Does those little things make a difference in, like, the, the publishing and trademarks and all that stuff? Well, yeah. Well, and everybody asks us, too, and it's like, well, yes, it's spelled wrong. They ask us all the time because we were on that other... Twitch stream for DW Presents, like, your name is actually spelled wrong, you know that, right? I'm like, well, it caught your attention. <laughs> That's what I said when I joined these guys, too. I was like, hey, you know. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. But, um, <laughs> I think, like, I'll sit there and say, like, I'm a pop punk kid, clearly. But, like, um, I'll go out there and say that, you know, like, Pencil House is a big thing in our band. Because it's not talked enough about, especially when it's And mm-hmm. uh, when you look at our makeup, our stage presence, like that's our happy place. So that's the one place that you actually get to release everything. Right. And so, like, our music, what I what I tell them is like, it comes from like the deepest, darkest depth of thought. And we're just kind of letting it out for you guys and like, Fighting for that, I can dig it. It's awesome. I can, the rage. I can dig it. Uh, <laughs> let's. I, let, we gotta at least play a song while you guys are here. So if it's cool with you, can I jam my own fate? Is that yeah, right? Absolutely. We're hanging out with catastrophic heroes. If you guys are feeling it, please hit the subscribe button for them on their YouTube channel. Also, jump over on Spotify. Hit that follow button. <laughs> and you said it was Cole, correct? That's that's. Your... Yeah, that's Cole. Yep. Cole, you're killing it, brother. Do you have do you have any any odd, interesting warm up vocal techniques that you do before every show? Any like rituals or anything? Uh, I try to sometimes. Uh, I am very self conscious, uh, and I try to like warm up away from everybody else so no one can hear me. It's isolated, so I'll just walk out somewhere distant, but you know, so I can just kind of do like some. Uh, Oh, no. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. clearings and different like little notes I try to hit a little bit before I before I feel ready and it's funny because start drinking water a lot for sure. We played we played a show in Colorado and I remember walking to the bathroom and I hear. <laughs> I'm like, you all right, bro? 
You're right. <laughs> and this bull walking on, like, that explains it. Hell yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stump you right here with this trivia, and then while you're enjoying the hunts, I hope, and then while you're enjoying the hunts, us Ozzy's gonna hit you with another serious one while you're being tortured. Ace Ventura <laughs> Nature Calls trivia. What does Ace play with on the steps to the building in the very beginning of the movie? What is he playing with? Slinky. A slinky is correct. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> All right, we got to get really hard on the second one. Damn it. So that means that means I have to do the hot sauce. Ozzy, you have to do the hot sauce, and and uh, you have to ask him a question while you're being tortured, Ozzy. So hot sauce time. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> vice versa on us. And I'll do a cannonball in the background. Feel free to join us, fellas, if you like. Um, you know what cannon, cannon, cannonball is, right? Gentlemen, can I please have your attention? Cannonball! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, so I'm doing the Death Valley Ghost Pepper. Cheers, boys. Congrats. We'll ask Cheers. one more, but it's going to be a way harder one. Same same movie. <laughs> we got this. All right. If I don't got it. We got this together. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Take it away, Ozzy, whenever you're ready. <laughs> okay, so you guys just dropped the fifth floor recently, right? Yeah. yeah. So, um, from what I heard, I really like it, and I was curious... What is different about the fifth floor from everything you guys have released prior to it? Uh, uh, everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's it's more of the direction sound sonically that we want to pursue. We want to go heavier, more darker. Super. Yeah, more. Yeah, just have more fuller sound. We're trying to work with new like synths or you know background orchestras or something. You know, make. Right make it more full and alive, I guess. So it's, and I think looking back at use as prescribed, we, all of us in the whole band, like have evolved so much on this record. I feel like. I feel like it really shows on it as well. Yeah. I mean, if you actually look Thank you. like a little, like I'll call it an Easter egg. If you look uh, on our yeah. album art in the <laughs> top or the bottom left hand corner, you'll see a garbage can. And it's full mm -hmm. of pills. Now, if you look at Use As Prescribed, our entire EP cover was literally just bottles of pills. Oh, yeah. That's cool. So That is a cool little Easter egg. Who did the album art? Uh, Trent Jacobs out of Denver, Colorado. Shout out to Trent. Yeah, he goes by Sinister Star, so make sure you hit him up. Two, quest cool, two questions for you guys. Um, first one is... What is what is like a goal or two that you have for 2023 as a band that uh, you want to accomplish? We definitely want to go out and now that we have this new record released, it's it's been hard after lo just losing uh, Morgan uh, out of the band and getting Jared on guitar again, and getting him you know these guitars now we got Shay, running parts and everything. So yeah, a big goal for us. I'd say is playing as much as we possibly can and trying to record maybe a, a music video or some music videos too well, in the like, process. The difficult part is <clears throat> to touch on that. Like, so technically the fifth floor was supposed to be released Memorial Day that Friday of Memorial Day weekend. So we were signed with the label. We also had like a management that we just worked with because we're supposed to go and do like an overseas tour and then that didn't happen and oh you guys want to do a states tour and then that didn't happen and we're doing all of this stuff you know following everything our management is saying our management's like hey your record label's not doing it for you so we left our record label and then in the midst of it all we still haven't released the album and then it's like the frustration built up so it's like collectively we all agree to like so here's what we're going to do. First of all, I have some family issues that I'm taking care of. Second of all, we need to get this out because, like, it's going on winter. Give them something to listen to. So, therefore, when the weather does lighten up here in the Midwest, we can at least go play, like, a tour and stuff. So now that the fifth part is 
available. Like, if you go on Vivo, I think we're at like 6,000 views for our music video for My Own Fate. Hell yeah. And the song's a banger, too. Uh, but this this could be the most important question that I've asked you all today. Psych! Ace Ventura! How long... <laughs> How long were Ace and the Princess shooting spitballs? I'm sorry, I had to rephrase the question. Ace, Ace and the Princess are shooting spitballs at a man balancing on a pillar in the middle of the movie. How long does that man have to balance on that pillar to complete his job of balancing? How long did the man balancing on the pillar have to balance for? I told you the second one was going to be harder. A week? That is not correct! Yeah. Oh no. I'll give you uh, one more guess. One more guess? Random guess. Just guess one more amount of time. 24 it's... hours. Oh boys, you get that hot sauce out. Gotcha, bitch! Oh man. <laughs> it's hot sauce time. The answer is five days. Five days he had to balance on I... it. This is this is lighter. What's the hell is lighter? Enjoy. The hot sauce, and uh, while you guys are doing that, I'm gonna play uh, Consuming Darkness. <laughs> oh, no, not that one. Not that one. I mean, you can. You can. No, I can play something else. It's, it, you guys are our guests. I can play something else. What would you like me to play? Uh, what about Bleed Two? Huh? Yeah, but it goes. <laughs> it goes in from. Bleed through. Me. Sure, we can do That's one of my favorite stuff on your record. Let's the jam. The breakdown is the heaviest part, so like we gotta at least get to through okay. the breakdown. Okay, <laughs> I got you. No worries. Enjoy the hot sauce. Is there is there another crazy part coming up? Nah, it's pretty much rest. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> there's there's always surprises in some people's songs. You never know. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, uh, I sent you that message. But that T, well, it's a video, but perhaps that's a, that's a teaser you could play. Okay, I'll cue it up. Ozzy, uh, shoot him one more question. And let me cue up the teaser they sent. Okay, cool. So I was peeping your guys' socials earlier today um, on the lookout for some merch, and I couldn't find any. So my question to you guys is, do you have any ver merch available? And if so, where do we find it? We, unfortunately, don't really have much new merch out right now it's kind of something that's you know hard to do right now with us being stagnant and everything and us being able to kind of afford it right now we're all going through some uh, personal event especially so uh, so it's been like uh, <laughs> yeah so <laughs> i have a suggestion i have a suggestion so we don't ever have any in-house merch, but you can order merch from us at any time through a like per order basis. If you guys can get the designs, there, uh, just talk to me on the side and I'll help you set up like a per order basis thing where you don't even have to order it. Just have your fans pick the size and the design and it just ships it to them automatically. Cool. It, ta oh, yeah, it takes like a, like a three or $4 cut per per order out of like, you know, 20 bucks, 25 bucks a shirt, whatever you're in charge. Right. But That's you don't have to pay the t two grand ahead of time, you know what I mean? To get a thousand right. shirts or whatever. So right. yeah, yeah. I, sure. I, I will, I'll, I'll throw, I'll throw it out there after this, but. Uh, <laughs> For a little bit there, we were actually creating our own merch with like a cricket and stuff. Yeah. And I want to say that <laughs> we sold out like, cause like, you know, you have a scene no matter where you are. And like, we're part of the, lost the scene i'll say like the scott scene in general and anywhere we went we had new merch and it's gone like we made 50 shirts boom gone in the first show so it's like oh that's awesome like that. that's, that's a good people. problem to have this is a good problem yeah, to have sure. hell yeah uh ozzy we'll do we'll do final question from you and then i have the for real not a not a trivia one like an actual serious final question and then we'll let you guys go and enjoy the rest of your day for sure okay um <clears throat> Hold on one second. I'm sorry. Okay, while he's while he's doing that, fellas, you gotta fit. What's going on here? Just I know I know nothing about the band. There's no bio here on Spotify. You gotta throw me up. You gotta throw me up some. Oh, uh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Never even <laughs> it's one of my it's one of my pet peeves. Whenever I like check out artists and if they send me like a Spotify link, I always go down and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna find out about the. 
Dang, yeah. Well, that's a little. It bit helps. It helps. I suppose. Well, Shit. that's that's also because our distributor we go through is DistroKid, but I'm pretty sure they just grab our shit and go. There's there's definitely a way. I would I would message them to be like, hey, can you just slap this this bio, and they'll they'll probably be able to do it. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, okay. you can go to catastrophicheroes.net. Ding! There it is. <laughs> catastrophicheroes.net. <laughs> All right, Ozzy, final question. What you got? So I want to know individually, through your journey in this band, um, what were all of your guys' <laughs> best experience in being a part of this band? There you go first. Yeah, um, best experience. Best experience. Um, well, I, well, I don't know. Colorado was fun. <laughs> that was just, I don't know. It was like a, a, we were like it actually we were out of state. We never thought we would do that before. That's was, awesome. Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. I would say, honestly, playing at this little dive bar in Adams County. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. No, yeah. Sure. yeah. Everybody was our biggest fan. That was crazy. That was pretty cool. They got treated like royalty. Yeah, I love that place actually. Yeah. I'll say. Uh, I'll say like when we recorded the fifth floor and our single spiraling, that's probably like a memory making moment. But she went to Nashville to another plug, by the way, uh, Phoenix Studios, and uh, Peter Alves just like hooked us up, and it was like you walk into the studio and like holy shit, we made it. <laughs> you know, like that's a moment where you're like, oh my god, we made it. Hell yeah! But, like that's one that's of those awesome. Where, like professional settings really. Yeah, we literally, literally 14 hour days in that studio. That's no joke. We sat on a couch 14 hours. Well, yeah, we recorded the whole album in four days. Yeah, it was nuts. That is oh, awesome. Wow. Got to work. That's impressive. You went there for to handle business and you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah we did it. <laughs> Cole, I don't, did you answer, Cole? I don't think you got a chance to answer. Uh, not yet, no. Oh, uh, shit. That's, that's, that's a tough one. It's hard. I think, yeah, my favorite moments are always just, yeah, recording is so fun. Just making music and just having a good time while doing it, hanging out. It's like we work really hard when we're in that process, but it's like we're slapping off and having fun simultaneously. I don't know. It's super cool. That and being on the road for sure is hanging, hanging with the boys. Hanging hang with, with the boys. Except for one Hello. day destroyed damn hotel room that's morgan <laughs> the rock star Thanks, moment Garrett. you gotta have the rock you star know, moment you you ever you ever uh wake up to like pringles everywhere in your room i wish <laughs> Pring, well, you say pringles pringles everywhere pringles like oh yeah i wish everywhere, everywhere. everywhere. like you open everywhere. your eyes <laughs> and like, oh, it snowed pringles hell yeah i love what pringles. a problem to have I bought some pringles i know i brought some pringles today Lots of nice. Hell yeah. Well, fellas, this is my final question. This is a serious one, though. Um, I ask almost every artist that we have on the show this final question. What is a, a piece of musical advice somebody in the industry has given you that you are willing to share with us? That's something that was important to you that somebody, you know, just said, hey, watch out for this, do this, blah, 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 that you can share. Or a terrible mistake at some point in your musical career that you've made that you did not want a starting up band to make. <laughs> oh shit! Been a lot of mistakes for sure. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. So advice, I would say you gotta suck before you're good. Yeah, for sure. Actually, good. Dig it. I can dig that. You suck all the time, so it don't matter. Jared, <laughs> 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 um, you thinking? Um, look into who you sign with. <laughs> Yeah. Read the paperwork. You read read, yeah. the, read the damn paperwork. Okay. The like, contract. I mean, like, look into the people you're signing with, too, I guess. Like, look beyond the paperwork, too. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like, company. Do yeah, like a background yeah. check on yeah. whoever you're working with. Yeah. Def yeah. Read the vibe. Yep. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of a cl uh, cliche thing. I don't know. But yeah, just. I don't know. That that one you said really good. Fuck. I, I feel like I should mix it up and say like instead of advice, say like I don't know. 
mistake. I don't know. I'll Shit. do a two-parter. So, just because you buy a five hundred dollar drum set does not mean you're going to be a five hundred dollar. <laughs> right, right. right. It's, it's, that's great and advice. And also, <laughs> also like the realest thing that you're ever going to get told is you're going to put your thousand dollar gear in your five hundred dollar piece of crap car to make. 10 bucks at a show that is legit and it's absolutely orgasmic all bands have been there you got to start somewhere so oh, yeah. Yeah. you got to put in the, the road hours and 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 make it work uh don't expect to get don't yeah don't expect shit to happen make shit happen i guess uh nike yeah, i like just, that yeah <laughs> that's cool that's cool fellas i appreciate you hanging out with this catastrophic heroes you guys are awesome the fifth floor on all streaming services, please go stream and support them. Hopefully, you guys can make it over here to California so we can hang out sometime, catch a show, support That'd you awesome. in any way possible. But uh, for now, unfortunately, we're out of time. We have to let you go. But, gentlemen, have an excellent day. Please come back anytime. Maybe we can do a follow up in like five or six months, check in and see where you guys are at, what's going on. Yeah. If that's cool absolutely. with you. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Good. That'd be awesome. Awesome. I appreciate you. Cheers. Catch up with your house. Thank you, guys. Have a great night, guys.